Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. In this HMI tutorial, I will explain you about the user administration, how to create a screen for enter password and to get user login as you can see it from here and how to show the login notifications as well. And if you want to log out, you can log out from here and show the notifications. So let's begin. So right now I am in my HMI panel and here we have different screens, right? So I'm going to create a new screen for the user administration and I'm going to right click here and I'm going to change the name it to user administration. It is basically the login logout screen. Okay. So the screen has been created and now I'm going to adjust the zoom settings. 75 is going to be the perfect. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to expand this window from here and I will place here two buttons for the log in and log off. And I'm going to write the text into the button log in for the first button and for the second button it is going to be the log off. These buttons will be used for the log in and log off, right? Okay, and in the project tree, I will expand the HMI tags. I will select this tag, and I, this tag I have already created in my previous tutorial word underscore one with the integer data type. Very simple tag. I'm gonna drag and drop here on the screen. And very similarly, I'm gonna drag here the alarm view. I have explained about the alarm view in my previous tutorial as well. And I'm going to adjust the alarm view here on the screen. It will show the notifications of logging in and logging out. And if the user has entered incorrect password, then it will show the different alarms here, right? So in the general properties, I'm going to change it to alarm buffer because alarm buffer shows the notifications, right? And I will do another setting. I do not want different buttons on the alarm view. So I will go into the toolbar and here we have options for the button so i do not want these buttons so what i will do i will drop down these toolbar style and i will select none so all of the buttons are gone because i want notifications rather than buttons after doing that uh, in the project tree i will go down a little bit and i will find the user administration i will double click here and make sure that you are in the users. Let me collapse this menu. Make sure that you are in the users on the top right corner. And here I'm going to create a user. So I'm going to create admin one and I will set the password. So I'm going to set the password one, two, three. And in confirm password, I'm going to again type one, two, three, and then check this box from here. For these different settings, I'm going to select the entire row and I will go with the administration group right in the user groups i can change these access from here but i will let it whatever it is so we are done with these and then i'm gonna go back to my user administration screen i will select this uh word underscore one tag that i have placed and in the general properties i will go into the security and in administration, I'm gonna select the operate. After that, I will check this box from here and the operate is here for the administration. I will do some settings for the login and log off button. For the login, I want a pop-up uh, dialog for the login. So I will go into the press events. I will go into the add function, right? And in the user administration which is at the very bottom I will select show dialog for the login right so whenever the login button is pressed a dialog for the login should get appeared and for the log off again I will go into the press events I will go into the add function and in the same user administration window I will select log off so it will allow an admin or a user to log off when this button is selected right okay now I will go into my SMI tags double click here I will create here two tags so the first tag is going to be username 
which is definitely a string data type so I will type here WS and select W string right and I'm gonna create another tag which is user group number and which is integer data type so I'm gonna change the data type I will type here INT and select int which is integer so I've created these two tags I will be using these two tags so in the project tree uh, find the schedule task and I'm gonna create here a schedule task which is going to be change task for the type it is good with the function list but for the trigger it should use uh, change the user so I'm gonna select here user change and in the events I will add some functions so I'm gonna click on add function and in user administration I will select here get username first and here I will select this option and um, I will go into my HM, HMI tags I have created a tag for the username so I will select the username with the string data type then I will add another function for the user group so I'm gonna select the get group number right which we have created a tag for the group number so I'm gonna select this option and here we have the tag for the user group number check this box from here which is has integer data type and finally I'm gonna add another function which is trace user change and we do not need to assign any tag to this one okay so I'm gonna go back to my user administration screen expand this uh, toolbar from here and I will drag and drop this user view here I will simply adjust the screen you can adjust this according to what you like so I'm gonna adjust it like this and when we are in the simulation mode uh, we have to go back and forth on different screens so I'm gonna go to home screen and I will place the button for the user administration so if in case I am on the user screen I can press this button to get to user administration screen I'm gonna turn on the simulation from here after selecting the SMI panel so I will go to the user administration screen from here all right so here we have different options uh, different notifications right so what I will do I will select the you login button so this is this is a pop-up and intentionally I'm gonna enter the wrong username which is admin one rather than admin and it shows the notification for the invalid password right so I'm gonna do it again for the password it is one two three but the username is incorrect so now I'm gonna enter the correct one so it is admin one and password is one one two three enter okay and now it says the user has logged in so I can log in like this and I can log off from here and when I click back uh, it shows the notification for the log off when I go back it already saves the name for the admin one and only I have to enter the password and I can log off from here so that's how we work with the user administration right so if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching